So let me ask you this question, because we have action, we have my team, and now we have Soka's story. And, I, and I've been watching your career for some time now, and I see something interesting happening. You're making Soka music palatable for people who generally would not listen to Soka. And I know a lot of artists are already doing that in the Soka world, yeah. but there's something about those three songs that I mentioned. Action, My Team, Soka Story, which also, I'm a little biased, they're some of my favorite tunes. Mm. Talk about that type of thing where the lyrics... It's something where people can sing along, they can get it, they can yeah. How, it's a chant. When I go into when I go into when I go into the mood of I looking for some because I try to treat soca. You see people say they want to get international, but they don't have an international mindset. You understand? Uh-huh, me, yeah. me, what I try to do so the song is one aspect of it and, and I'll give you a quick example. I tell people from the beginning, Rihanna is one of the greatest products of modern day music. She's the mm. greatest of song talent. You can't put Rihanna next to a Whitney Houston or, or, or there's, there's random girls, not even to, to San Chin. She's not in her class. Totally. Oh, wow. Right? Right. But right. On a, as a business model, right? When you sit down with Rihanna and her team on a business model, they do what worked. And that is how I try to treat Soka. Soka is a music that's festival. If you want to take the festival, what you have to do is make the festival cool for the world. You have to give them things that they're familiar with. You understand? Right. So, I try to do things is like Bob Marley, but nobody can understand why he was so huge. And I tell them the simplest thing, Bob Marley sang English. So the world could have understood. You understand? Right. He didn't sing right. in slang. It took Cartel so long to bust because he was singing like he was co- he's still in country. <laughs> right? It's the same thing happened yeah, to, to That is very true. That is very same true. Same thing happened to, to Lil Rick. If you check Lil Rick, Lil Rick is stagnant because he sings in that Bajan twang. It is too strong. The world can't understand it. But every time he catch a catchy beat, they will jump off to that song. Mm-hmm. So what I plan so what I do is I look at it like, alright, cool. Let me try and merge what is cool and what is accepted for my demographic and still try and fuse it with what Trinidad and Tobago and by extension the Caribbean diaspora understands what Suka is supposed to be. That is how songs like Action came about. We, in Action, we talk about wine and bend on low, but we took away the kick snare and we put a straight kick. Normally, Suka is to pop pat up, to pop pat up, to pop pat up. That is Suka. What we put in Action was to 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 which on an mm-hmm. international level is, is hip hop. Mm-hmm. Right? And mm-hmm. we did that with my team. My team was the C familiar bunks, right? And right. This my next campaign. The, well, the Soka story is really uh, uh, my 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 template for 2015. It's three songs I'm doing. Soka story was the header song, and that is the calypso talking about the the music to answer the question why I do Soka. It's not a monetary thing for me. Soka is something that's really embedded in my soul. It's part of me. It's me as a Trinbegunian, me as a Caribbean individual. Soka is what I grew up on. My first ever show I've ever been to as a youth man, I was 14 years old. My sister took me to a concert was a Soka monarch. Right? Mm. So my first ever right. outing as a young person was to hear Soka. I can't tell you my first concert. A lot of kids you talked about, they were, their first concert would have been a, 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 um, one of those, those little boy bands that popular Jonas <laughs> Brothers or whoever. I, right. can't, I can't relate. My first ever going out, my big show where I get to tell friends I'm going out, was a Soka show. And that stayed with me for years. So I did it behind the scenes. I was the only road DJ. I was the first ever road Soka DJ. I played for Iowa George for nine years. I played for Boy. I was doing the road long before I sing a song. So I understand right. the business of Soka long before. Then I came to Trinidad and, and brought Soka Star. I next right, Soka right. show again. So my life has been based around it. I just decided to do the frontal thing because it was a natural progression because I've gotten, I got to a point where I, I play all the, the music, I DJ everywhere, I do a, a successful TV show with Soka. Okay, it's my time to do something for me. So Now, you, you address that in this tune, Soka Story. Mm-hmm. That's specifically the reason why you, you wanted to address yeah, some of the questions it's you've been question. having as a, as, as a radio announcer. Yes, it's a question that's been asked because remember, perceptions is a man reality. And people in China and Tobago perceive me to be certain things. Like I will always say, Soka is what mind me not singing it if you understand what i'm saying 
mm-hmm. my life has been that like only money I've ever made. My I was able to buy property, buy homes, and buy these things off a of soca, but not singing it because I only sing in four years. But I played the music and I supported the art form for years. All my jobs, my odd jobs around the place was soca. I I have done soca for some of some of the biggest concerts in Trinidad. Me, that was soca music. Dude. Caribbean Lifestyle Media, your online source for the latest music, videos, in-depth interviews, and stories about your favorite Caribbean artists you'll never get anywhere else. Check us out on the web, dancealsoca.com. They make the music, we tell you the stories. Welcome to your destination.